Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on how to solve recurrence relations and find out the time complexity of the recurrence relation. Okay, now consider this example T of n is equal to 1 if n is equal to 0. T of n minus 1 plus 1 if n greater than 0. So solve this about recurrence relation and find out the time complexity. First of all, to solve this about recurrence relation, we have to use substitution method. By using this substitution method, we have to solve the above recurrence relation and also we have to find out the time complexity of the above recurrence relation. So we have to use substitution method. So now we have to take T of n is equal to T of n minus 1 plus 1. So substitute this is equation 1. n minus 1 in place of n in equation 1. So, P of replace n minus 1 with n. Replace n with n minus 1 is equal to P of n minus 1 is equal to P of we have to substitute n minus 1 in place of n. So, that is equal to P of n minus 2 plus 1. So, this is equation 2. Next, substitute n minus 1, n minus 2 in place of n in equation 1. Again, P of replace n with n minus 2 is equal to P of replace n with n minus 2 minus 1 plus 1. So, that is equal to P of n minus 3 plus 1. So, this is equation 3. Okay. Now, substitute equation 2 in equation 1. So, here we are already finding the P of n minus 1 value. This P of n minus value is substituted in P of n minus 1 in equation 1. So now P of n is equal to what is the T of n minus 1 value? This is the T of n minus 1 value. So that is P of n minus 2 plus 1 and already this plus 1 is there. So that is equal to P of n minus 2 plus 1 plus 1 that is equal to p of n minus 2 plus 2. So, this is equation 4. Okay. Now, we are already find the t of n minus 2 value. So, this t of n minus 2 value is substituted in equation 4. That is substitute 
equation three in equation four. So that is equal to T of n is equal to what is the T of n minus two value? Here T of n minus two value is the T of n minus three plus one and this is plus two. So that is equal to T of n minus three plus one plus two. That is equal to T of n minus three plus three. So this is equation five. So this procedure is repeated up to k times. So then T of n is equal to T of n minus k plus k. Okay, here. This is t of n minus one. Now we are getting t of n minus two. Now we are getting t of n minus three. So of uh, this procedure is repeated up to k times. Then finally we are getting t of n minus k. Okay. Next one here. This is plus one, and here we are getting plus two. Here we are getting plus three. So this procedure is repeated up to k times. Then finally we are getting this k value. Okay. So this is equation. This procedure is repeated up to k times. Then t of n is equal to t of so n minus k plus k. Now this value should be equal to zero. Then This term becomes t of zero. T of zero is equal to one. So this value should be zero. If this value is zero, then t of zero is equal to one. So then n is equal to k. Okay. Now k value. Is substituted in equation six. So then, t of n is equal to t of n minus n plus n. So that is t of zero plus n. T of zero value is one. One plus n that is equal to n. So that is equal to big O of n. Here the time complexity is big O of n. So by using this substitution method, we have to solve this. recurrence relation then finally we are getting the time complexity is big o of n okay next the second example t of n is equal to 1 if n is equal to 0 t of n is equal to t of n minus 1 plus log n if n greater than g Solve the above recurrence relation by using substitution method and find out the time complexity. So now, t of n is equal to t of n minus one plus log n. So this is equation one. Now substitute. n minus one in place of n in equation one. So then t of n minus one 
is equal to P of substitute n minus 1 in place of n. n minus 1 minus 1 plus log of n minus 1. So that is equal to P of n minus 2 plus log of n minus 1. So this is equation 2. Next substitute n minus 2 in place of n in equation 1. So, in equation 1, substitute n minus 2 in place of n. So, then P of n minus 2 is equal to P of n minus 2 minus 1 plus log of n minus 2. So, that is equal to P of n minus 3 plus so log of n minus 2. Okay. Next, substitute n minus 3 in place of n in equation 1. This is equation 3. So, substitute n minus 3 in place of n in equation 1. P of n minus 3 is equal to. So, P of n minus 3 minus 1 plus log of n minus 3. So, that is equal to P of n minus 4 plus, so log of n minus 3. Okay. So, this is equation 4. Okay. So, this procedure is repeated up to k times. So, then finally we are getting P of n is equal to k times then p of n minus k plus log 1 log 2 log 3 up to log of n minus 1 plus log n. So, this is we are getting. Okay. Now, this value should be equal to 1 when n minus k is equal to 0. Suppose n minus k is equal to 0, then this term should be P of 0. Okay. P of 0 is equal to 1. So, therefore, n is equal to k. Okay. Now, substitute k value in equation 5. So, then P of n is equal to P of n minus n plus so log 1 plus log 2 plus log 3 up to log n minus 1 plus log n. So, that is equal to P of 0 plus log n factorial. So, this total term should be equal to 
log n factor l. For example, log a plus log b plus log c that is nothing but log a b c. Here log 1 plus log 2 plus log 3 up to log n then it can be written as log n factorial. So that is equal to 1 plus log n factorial. So log n factorial is nothing but n log n. So that is 1 plus n log n that is according to the big O notation the upper bound is n log n. This is the constant and this is the n log n which is the upper bound n log n is the upper bound then the time complex t is big O of n log n. Okay. Here log 1 plus log 2 plus up to log n is equal to log n factorial. Okay. And another one is T of 0 is equal to 1. So therefore, time complexity is big O of n log n. Okay. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel link. Dibbala Srinivasara. Thank you.